So the World Bank has been one of the first and the largest financiers of the COVID response uh, for the government of the Gambia. We started off with our COVID-19 um, preparedness and response project, uh, which is uh, currently an $18.94 million project supporting the COVID health response and also supporting uh, access and deployment of COVID-19 vaccines. As part of that project, we have supported uh, the Ndemban Clinic, uh, which is now the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital. Um, as the COVID-19 um, pandemic took up um, last year, uh, Gambia didn't have any infectious disease facility hospital, and we had no choice but to hurriedly get a um, sanatorium which used to be for TB treatment and get ready for to be used for isolation of patients who were COVID positive. And knowing that sanatorium is one, the position or the location of the place is quite swampy. Um, and then it is not really, really uh, a place meant for uh, an infectious disease hospital. Then it had to be repurposed. This was a difficult task. So I felt um, that it was my responsibility as a Gambian and um, as um, a philanthropist to go into Deban and um, rehabilitate it, refurbish it in such a way that it can accommodate um, uh, patients that were um, positive for COVID-19. We are committing $2 million into the renovation of Ndeban Clinic, which will be the main treatment center you know, within the peri-urban area. So Ndeban uh, construction started actually, first with the private support, but eventually that was not sufficient really to complete the whole process. So this is where World Bank and uh, UNDP added. Uh, we have supported that uh, uh, the renovation of the clinic and the procurement of equipment, high-end uh, equipment for the for the hospital as well. So uh, for us, as UNDP, that was looking at the impact, the social economic impact of the pandemic in in the people of the Gambia, we, we very much welcome this PPP partnership because. Uh, having a private sector interested in the in the health sector uh, can really uh, reinforce the engagement as a whole society, but also upgrade also the, the quality of the services that are provided. Sanitarium we used to have only 34, 34 bedded. Here we have 66 to almost 99 bedded um, hospital, and the facilities are more. We have two uh, portions for ICU care. We have. A portion for HDU. We have a theater around. Uh, we have a hemodialysis unit that is in the making. So it's quite an all-inclusive, or um, all care, a whole holistic care place. So uh, we are very delighted of uh, this experience. We know that we are moving to a, to a rehabilitation that give a full-fledged hospital, but also to provide oxygen for the whole country. This facility can act as a model. Uh, for us uh, bringing together all the partners to achieve uh, our desired goals. With a good leadership, with commitment, with the nation at heart, all these agencies can come together to make a meaningful impact on the care of patients, especially during these dire times of COVID-19. Certainly, we encourage this kind of partnership in many of our activities because each party, each party has a big input in such a partnership. Each party comes in with a lot of advantage and experience in making sure that such partnerships work. 